Hello everyone, my name is Sharif Yakub. I am a doctor, an endocrinologist that is a doctor who specializes in diabetes, thyroid, and other endocrine and hormonal conditions. And I decided to start this podcast to help people understand more about these medical issues that affect a lot of us, and also to help healthcare workers, whether they be doctors, nurses, uh, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, to help uh, understand what patients are going through and to understand a little bit more about these medical issues. Uh, before I start, I just want to say that it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos. So please hit the subscribe and like button and share these presentations with whomever you think might be interested or benefit from them. Today's topic is going to be about diabetes. And we'll start by asking the question, what is diabetes after all? This podcast is for educational purposes only. Please talk to your doctor before changing any of your medications or starting a diet program. So what is diabetes after all? Most people would answer that question by saying that diabetes is a condition where there is too much sugar in the blood and in the urine. And while that is certainly the case, in most cases of diabetes, it doesn't really capture the essence of diabetes and what's it all about. Now, long time ago, about 1600 BC, physicians in Egypt had already found out that people who have this condition called diabetes secrete a lot of sugar in their urine. And in fact, in the year 500 BC, doctors in India did a very strange experiment, but it works if you think about it. They got the urine from people who are suspected of having diabetes and put it in a jar. And then they got the urine from healthy people and put it in another jar. And they noticed where the ants went. It turns out that the ants couldn't get enough of urine from the people who have diabetes. And they figured that the reason behind this is that that urine of patients who have diabetes is full of sugar. And that is why they called it diabetes. So the name diabetes or diabetes mellitus as it's officially known means the urine is secreted in excess and it is sweet. Diabetes in Greek means to go through, which means to have a lot of urine being secreted and the uh, word melitus is where we get the word molasses from, which means honey. So basically diabetes mellitus means sweet urine. So now uh, after they found that out, they already figured out that the hallmark or one of the biggest things present in diabetes is high sugar. But it wasn't until 1926 where a doctor called Dr. Schaefer figured out that this has something to do with a hormone called insulin. And in fact, the main issue with diabetes, which was only discovered later on, is an imbalance between insulin and between glucose. So what is insulin and what is glucose? Insulin is a hormone. A hormone is basically a message that is secreted from one organ of the body, sent to another organ of the body to do a specific job. So organs that secrete uh, insulin are called, or secrete hormones in general, are called endocrine organs. And the specific organ that makes insulin and sends it away is called the pancreas, which is an organ in your belly, deep behind your stomach. Now, the endocrine organs make hormones and send them to other parts of the body to do specific functions or specific jobs. And the function of insulin is to open the door of the tissues, the door of the cells, and to let glucose in so that it would work inside of the tissue and supply it with energy. Glucose is basically the most simple form of sugar. Our organs, our systems, our bodies, our tissues need sugar to function and to produce energy.
but who lets that sugar in? It is the insulin. So the insulin, in a way, you can think of it as the key that unlocks the door and gets the glucose in. So it stands to reason that if you don't have insulin, that the glucose does not go in the tissues where it's supposed to be, and instead it hangs around in the blood, and the levels go up and go up also in urine because the extra amounts of sugar are then released in urine. But another problem may happen where insulin may be present, but it doesn't work very well. And that produces the same thing. So let's say the tissues are resistant to the action of insulin, that you have insulin, but it doesn't produce its effect, doesn't work very well, doesn't open the door of the tissues as it's supposed to, and in that case, you get also diabetes. In the first situation where you don't have insulin, that condition is called type 1 diabetes. But in the second condition where you do have insulin, but it's not working very well, that condition is called type 2 diabetes. In future episodes, we'll talk about diabetes some more. How is it diagnosed? What can it do? And what we can do to protect ourselves from it. So until future episodes, stay safe and have a good day.